This is your Adventist News, a service of the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. I'm Charlie Thompson. In this week's broadcast, Class of 1993 to raise the bar for alumni. Church leaders prioritize risk management. And local church promotes health. These stories and more on this week's Adventist News. The importance of child protection, volunteer labor, and property risks was among the topics covered in the South Bahamas Conference's Risk Management Seminar held at the Hillview Church on May 20th through 21st, 2023. The Inter-American Division's account executive, Rocio Roberts, traveled to NASA for the hybrid in-person online service and shared the importance of having effective risk management protocols in place for all departments in the churches. According to Roberts, it is imperative that programs, especially those geared towards children, can minimize potential harm to them while allowing them the benefits of wholesome gatherings. Building an effective ministry is worth it. Risk identification, risk control, and risk financing are the three pillars of risk management that we need to provide a safe activity. Risk management, Robert says, is a collaborative effort with departmental directors, church leaders, and members. We need to make this a priority at our leadership at the top. And I know the union and the conference are invested for you to do your duty of care and protection for our children in our churches. We're going to build a right fence by protecting and providing effective supervision, effective ministry. The Seventh-day Adventist Church Manual states that policies regarding the safety of children should include a two-adult policy, open-door policy, volunteer screening, a six-month waiting period, and training. For more information regarding the Adventist Risk Management, contact your local church or conference risk management leader, or visit AdventistRisk.org. The esteemed Bahamas Academy class of 1993 recently celebrated their 30th class reunion in grand style in the nation's capital. Persons traveled into the country to join with former classmates to celebrate this notable milestone. The weekend had a dual purpose of sustaining the connectivity of the alumni to the school by lending aid to current campus needs and to stay connected with each other through meaningful celebration. The weekend kicked off with a visit to the Academy campus to speak to the principal, Juliette Sands, and other administrators, and to tour the campus to assess current needs. This was followed the next day with a class workout session that engaged participants, built camaraderie, and encouraged a healthy lifestyle. The idea of this event was birthed from competitions leading up to the weekend that included a fitness challenge. The class of 1993 also enjoyed other activities including a meet and greet, church service, Honorary Awards Banquet and Grill and Chill. The highlight of the weekend was the Honorary Awards Banquet, which served to honor three educators whose service to the class had left an indelible impression. Honored this year were Dr. Cheryl Roll, who has over 30 years of experience as an educator and serves as the Executive Secretary for the Atlantic Caribbean Union of Seventh-day Adventists. Dr. Roll was the principal of Bahamas Academy in 1993. The two homeroom teachers, Mrs. Rowena Smith and Mrs. Celestine Crichton, were also honored for their invaluable contribution to the class. The Bahamas Academy class of 1993 sought to not only join in celebratory events, but also join in giving back to the school to pay it forward to the current students of the Academy. Tangible items and funds were given to the school, all of which will directly benefit the current student body. The planning committee views the reunion as a catalyst to do great things for the academy. In the words of one of the alumni, our country is only as strong as the education that it can provide to its citizens. We believe that if the fire can be ignited in one school to encourage alumni to seek ways to take the school higher, we would have helped to lay the bricks to a stronger and better Bahamas. The Breath of Life Church, located on Marshall Road, held an uplifting all-day health service on May 20, 2023. 
the health department took over the Divine and AY services. The guest speaker for the Divine Worship Service was Dr. Alpheus Alec, emergency physician at Doctors Hospital. His sermon under the caption, The Art of Forgiveness, shed some light on some common misconceptions that people often associate with forgiveness. Forgiveness is the feeling of peace that emerges as you take hurt less personally. Take responsibility for how you feel and become a hero instead of a victim in the story that you tell. Forgiveness is the experience of peacefulness in the present moment. Forgiveness does not change the past. Did it change the fact that he stepped on my toe? No, but it changes the present. And I will go on to tell you that it will change the future. During the AY session, two health professionals shared their expertise to enlighten and educate the audience. The first speaker, licensed dietitian and nutritionist Shandira Smith, delved into the importance of a balanced diet, also emphasizing the significance of consuming nutrient-rich foods for overall well-being. When we eat, we want to balance our plates as much as possible, all right? Half of it should be our vegetables, a quarter should be starch, and a quarter should be protein. Real foods and what's that God, what's that God created by nature? Like the apple, all the pears, all the fruits that, yeah, the vegetables, the ones that haven't been processed or refined. Those ones you want to stick to as much as possible. The second speaker, Marvette Moore, a dentist, brought light to the fact that oral and overall health are linked. She expressed the importance of regular dental checkups proper brushing, and various diseases in the mouth that are preventable and treatable. Now, if you have gingivitis, you good. Why? Because it's curable, and we could treat that, and you could get rid of your gingivitis once you get your teeth clean, and you keep up with your teeth cleanings and your brushing technique. So when we brush our teeth, we're supposed to brush from the top, go down, and our teeth from the bottom, we're going to brush from the bottom, go up, and in the back, we're going to brush in a circular motion. Together, these three health professionals gave an extensive overview of the importance of taking care of our emotional, spiritual, and physical health. And our newsreel for this week comes from the Bahamas Academy. As the Chinese government celebrated 26 years of friendship with the Bahamas, our students assisted the Chinese Embassy in distributing food on May 23, 2023 at the Great Commission Food Bank. After this commercial break, we will have more on what's coming up in the South Bahamas Conference. The South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventist Women's Ministries Department Devotional Project 2. You are invited to participate in the second women's devotional by sending in your type testimony. Email your submissions to SBC Women's Ministries at sbcadventist.org.bs. Deadline, June 30th, 2023. Send in your testimony. Be a blessing. And coming up in the South Bahamas Conference. The Hillview Stingers and Maranatha Saints Pathfinder Clubs will be joining together to hold a legendary Pathfinder Band concert. It will be held at the Maranatha Church on June 10th, 2023 at 6 p.m. La Senda de la Vida's Church is celebrating its 10th year anniversary under the theme, A Decade of God's Faithfulness. The celebrations will begin June 14th through 17th. On Sabbath, Pastor Jamal Franklin will be guest speaker on the topic, Be Strong and of Good Courage. Sabbath evening will be a time filled with songs of praise and a love offering will be taken in aid of La Senda SDA Educational Fund. The youth department is jumping into summer with a youth gospel explosion. Under the theme, From Bitter to Better, the Evangelism Initiative will begin June 18th at 7.15 p.m. at the New Providence Church with guest speaker, Pastor Liriano Webster, and will continue until July 1st. Off nights are Mondays and Thursdays. Our local churches are celebrating the country's 50 years of independence in grand style. The Centerville Church will be highlighting cultural, national, and historical nuggets about our country every week until July 8th. Bahamian treats will also be served weekly with special spiritual nuggets from guest speakers. At the Hillview Church, various activities are in motion to celebrate the country's milestone, including a praise and worship segment, a speech competition, a showcase of the islands, music extravaganza, a health expo and blood drive, an art competition, and much more. The Hillview Church will also be hosting a Dis We Bahamian Praise Song Competition. The deadline for submission is Sunday, June 25th at 12 noon. 
On July 1st, the top two nominees will perform their songs live at a special Bahamian AY service. For further information, you can contact Brother Patrick Wilson Jr. via email at cellcom242 at gmail.com. The Inter-American Division's ASI convention will be held in Montego Bay, Jamaica from August 16th through 20th. All persons who are interested in going are asked to call 556-0492 or email the Bahamas ASI chapter at asibahamas242 at gmail.com. Feel free to visit the South Bahamas Conference website at southbahamasconference.org to receive more information on all of our upcoming conference events. There, you can also view a rebroadcast of our Adventist News Update along with other local programming from our cable channel ATV 658. Read the weekly Logos, as well as the Adventist page from the Nassau Guardian. Colon cancer is one of the most common types of cancer. The small intestine is less frequently affected by the disease, which is why the term bowel cancer is generally understood to mean colon cancer. The number of women and men diagnosed with bowel cancer is more or less the same. The risk of developing the disease increases significantly from the age of 50 onwards. Bowel cancer almost always presents as some small polyps, known as colorectal polyps. Preventative examinations are therefore incredibly important for people who face an increased risk. Such checkups make it possible to identify and remove these polyps at an early stage. The following risk factors make a person more likely to develop bowel cancer. Other family members who have suffered from bowel cancer, polyps in the colon, chronic inflammatory bowel diseases such as Crohn's disease or ulcerative colitis accepts a body weight or very little exercise. For a long time, bowel cancer exhibits very few symptoms or no symptoms at all. Important signs that could indicate bowel cancer include altered bowel movements, a need to defecate that does not result in a bowel movement, fluctuations between diarrhea and constipation, as well as blood in the stool. More general symptoms such as weight loss and tiredness can also point to bowel cancer. Bowel cancer very rarely causes stomach pains. A colonoscopy is carried out to diagnose the disease, so it is possible to make a definitive cancer diagnosis. The choice of treatment depends on how far the cancer has progressed. Let's go now to the Adventist News Network with our news feature from around the world. An article published on the news site of the Adventist Church in the Trans-European Region highlights the 94-year mission of the region and celebrates the 160th anniversary of the Adventist organization. The article mentions several significant projects in the region, including Christ for Europe, the largest evangelistic outreach in Europe. This project aims to spread the gospel, share God's love, make disciples, and establish new faith communities throughout the region. Another project mentioned is the Three Angels Motorcycle Club in Novi Sad, Serbia, which is funded by the Adventist Mission Fund. This group of Adventist bikers engages with and befriends the biking community, providing literature focused on their needs. Well, that's it for our Adventist news from the South Bahamas Conference of Seventh-day Adventists. To share what's happening at your church, please email your news stories and upcoming events to sbcadventistnews at gmail.com. To view a rebroadcast of the Adventist News along with other programming and to keep in touch with what's happening in our conference, visit our website at southbahamasconference.org. The SBC Media Network's Facebook and Instagram pages are filled with lots of material from the Communications Department, so you would want to check those out. And remember to subscribe, like, follow, and share. 
You can watch and listen to programs from our radio station, Word SBC 88.3 FM, and our Adventist television channel, ATV 658. Get updates, insights, and first-hand information from the SBC Media Network as it happens. The programming from ATV 658 can also be viewed on the South Bahamas Conference YouTube channel. So feel free to watch a recap of our Adventist news. On behalf of our production team, it was our pleasure bringing you tonight's news update. I'm Charlie Thompson for the SBC Media Network. Have a happy Sabbath.